Hi, I'm Reverend Tom Kearns. Welcome to 333 Magic 9, where the cards and stars come together to bring you spiritual insights for your life. You can subscribe and hit the little bell for notifications for when I have new videos. Visit my website for a special introductory offer, internetpsychicreadings.com. The link will be below. <laughs> now, let's take a close look at the power of the stars and the cards. Aquarius, the card for the first week is the chariot. And the chariot is a card of motion, of going somewhere, of creating, doing something. And there's a lot of energy changes this first week. And as you can see, she's holding on rather tightly so she can steer the chariot because she knows where she wants to go. And if you can do that with a little bit of flexibility and awareness, you will get ahead. You won't get tripped up. And this week's going to be very easy to get tripped up because there is a double Mercury-Saturn square. Now, this is quite unusual. Saturn is up in, um, excuse me, Saturn is, is down here uh, in <laughs> your 12th house and Mercury is up in the 9th house. So what you have to be aware of is that you may have to make some changes in your plans if there's any uh, type of education or something you have to learn or some travel you have to take. So you must be careful to keep your focus. What's most important? You must check your um, travel schedule. And, um, and please do not believe everything you hear because again, this square will happen twice. So one person can say one thing one day and two days later they may say something totally different. And this also, uh, especially with all this energy in the 12th house here, um, you have to understand that your own hidden fears or unconscious memories may cause some spiritual confusion or anxiety. So you may need to take some quiet time or meditation to help keep yourself clear. And this will be extremely important at the end of the week as the moon moves up into a triple opposition to Saturn, Pluto, and Jupiter. Now, uh, that can throw anybody off their emotional balance, and this may have an effect, um, you know, in your work area or your health. So do take care. Hold on, but be flexible. The card for the second week is the Hierophant. Now, this is a very powerful card. Look how happily he's just sitting up there. He is stable. He knows what he's doing. So the reason for that will come clear when I speak to Jupiter and Pluto. Now you have Venus in opposition and you have Venus up in the ninth house of values. What do you value? What do you know? What are your ambitions for the future? But Venus isn't here alone. She is in opposition to Mars in the third house. So you have to be careful how you communicate. You need to be wise and you need to avoid confrontations and just be careful in travel as well. Now here's where the Hierophant card comes in because Jupiter is exactly conjunct Pluto and this is in the house of limitations and secrets. So you have to know deeply what really matters to you in the world. I call this combination of Ju Jupiter and Pluto the kingmaker or the king breaker. So do be aware of what is happening deep inside of you and be aware that there are some things you might have to leave behind so that you can move to the future. Now, Mars will help move to the future because he's changing direction in your third house. And, and this is a house of motion anyway. 
So it's an important time to know what you're thinking and why. There's a lot of information and a lot of communication that may be coming at you. So do be wise. The card for the third week is the Fool. I love the Fool card. This is great. Look at her. She's just having just this happy time. She's just moving forward with enthusiasm, not particularly looking where she's going, and that might be a problem. But this is new energy. And the interesting part about this is that there is a new moon, and the new moon is at the top of your chart. That's the area that deals with career. And this may increase the pressure for you to produce. So it's a very important time here for you to be listening as well as acting. Your professional status may come under review. So make sure you're taking care of business. Now, Venus is up in your ninth house, and that inspires you to broaden your interests in education and learning in faraway places. Now, you may also be a little bit more ambitious than usual, but, there's always a but, Venus forms a triple square to Pluto, Jupiter, and Saturn in your 12th house of what is called limitations or hidden fears. Don't allow your insecurities to just make you be fearful or confused. Keep your clarity. And most of all, unlike this pretty lady, do not take silly chances. Watch where you're going, but do be willing to go to the new. The card for the fourth week is the Queen of Wands. Now, as you look closely at the Queen of Wands, she looks like she has a little bit of sternness in her. But that's not really a, a negative thing. It's really more that she knows where she sits. She has achieved, and she can be helpful to you. Now, this is going to be very important because Mercury is transiting still up in your 10th house of career and status. So you may need some help in expressing exactly what your ambitions are, what you are trying to achieve. Now, if you are a creative person, this can be very helpful down here because you have Mercury, Trine, Neptune, and the Moon in conjunction. And this is down in your second, third house, excuse me, of um, just in spread, I know, I was right, it's the second house, excuse me. Um, this is your creativity, your talents, your abilities. So you can use your inspiration and your values to deepen yourself, but also to make money through creative ideas. The only caution I might say is do not sell your soul. Now that is because Venus is in opposition to Uranus. So Venus is also at the top of your chart, but she is in opposition to Uranus at the base of the chart. This is your internal security, your home, your family. So what you need to do is maintain a balance between your ambitions, your career, your social ambitions, and what you need for your own personal security. So balance career to personal security and your ambitions will perhaps give you opportunities to create more security. I'd like to thank you for watching and thank you for listening. Remember to subscribe because these videos are free and hit the little bell for notifications. And for a special offer, visit my website internetpsychicreadings.com.